Poor Cynic here with Plague Inc. I'm going to be doing something a little special. Uh, I know I already made a uh, sort of tablet time review of this, but I wanted to show off specifically the two DLC diseases that have been released at this time. It's the Nurax Worm and, uh, I don't remember the other one, the Zombie Plague. Uh, and these are not going to be walkthroughs per se, because I'm going in completely blind. I've never played these two before. Uh, I know there's new sort of play techniques and whatever, but I'm going to be going into this with the same experience as probably a lot of you, maybe. Uh, it's just going to be, you know, flying by the seat of my pants. So this should be fun. Right, start a new game, and we are going to go... We're going to start off with the Nurax Worm, the manipulative organism that burrows into the brain. Uh, let's... Usually when I start off with a new disease, I like to do casual, but we're just going to go right down the middle. We're going to go to normal. Slackworm was the name of a previous disease I made, a parasite. We're going to call this Cerebrica. Because it, you know, infects the brain. Makes sense to me. All right, modify the genetic code. Uh, I've discovered 53% of the genes at this time. Let's take a look at what we can do here. Uh, get more DNA from popping orange DNA bubbles. I usually go with either that or the ATP. I'm going to go with the, just that one. Uh, let's see. This one, this is uh, Plague is Harder to Cure. Yeah. Um, spreading by sea or air. Let's go with air this time. Um, I have to actually insert it. And um, let's say, let's give it a boost in urban environments. And let's say bonus DNA when devolving. It's, that's always a useful one to go with. Uh, when you get the mutations. Although that might be completely different. I know that the two DLC diseases have sort of different gameplay mechanics to them. So uh, my strategies might be completely useless here. But we'll find out. You are a new Nurax worm. To win, you must evolve and spread across the word. What world? Word, not word. Wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Touch the country your plague will start in. Rich countries with better medicine are harder to infect. All right, so I went with a sort of urban specialization. So let's go with China. I know China is an urban country, typically has a balanced climate. Cerebrica begins in China. Cerebrica has infected its first human. Weak and unspecialized and must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Nice. All right, let's take a look. Oh, it's so cute, just sitting on top of the brain. All right, uh, let's take a look here. Transmission. Ooh, new traits, new traits. Never seen these before. Concertina locomotion. Ability to grip with portions of the body while pulling, pushing other sections allows faster movement outside host, increasing infectivity. Eggs. Neurexerin produces eggs that are ejected from the host brain in the thousands, increasing infectiousness. And genetic swap. Worms able to exchange genetic material inside host body, increasing chance of mutation. Uh, symptoms. Just the one at first. The neural breach. Breach the blood-brain barrier to allow access to the host brain causes dystonia, rapid eye blinking. Interesting. And then we have our ability traits here. Drug resistance, that's normal. Heat resistance, cold resistance. Trojan planes. Manipulation of dopamine transporters results in a form of ADHD, which encourages hosts to fly to a target country. People are just going, I'm so antsy, I gotta fly somewhere. Oh my god. Cerebrica is a Nurex worm, undiscovered for thousands of years. Now humans have entered its natural habitat and given it the means to spread. Ooh. All right, spooky, spooky. It's gonna be slow starting off here, as it usually is. But we're, we're getting there. It's slowly coming along. We got two infected already. Nurse wages sore due to global shortage of nurses, I guess. 
the Danish Mafia becoming too powerful. Recent events involving the Danish Mafia have prompted the German Chancellor to commission gain a new investigation into organized crime and antisocial behavior. I wonder how this is going to play into, you know, the worm in people's brains. Cerebral curve begins to spread. All right, we're up to 13 people. It's going along fairly well so far, I should think. Can we get anything yet? I think we can. Increase infectivity. Uh, hmm. Don't want to increase the severity too fast. Let's go with uh, concertina locomotion. As I said, completely winging it. No idea what I'm doing. First time I've ever played this particular disease, so it's going to be interesting. Undulatory locomotion, ability to propagate flexural waves along the length of a worm, allows an increase in speed and range outside host, increasing infectiousness. Aha, we're getting orange bubbles now. Good, good, good. You've successfully evolved it. Yep. Got a little red speckles I can see already. But otherwise, business normal in China. By the way, if anybody watching this is from China, I apologize for picking your country. Uh, you know, it's in the game listed as urban, but not rich, so it doesn't have the penalties that starting in the UK, United States or UK would have. Uh, so, you know, my bad for destroying your country first, or attacking it first. All right, we're already over ooh, 280 people, nice. Let's see what else we can do. Uh... All right, let's do that. We breathe, neural breach, we've breached the blood-brain barrier now. Cerebral tendrils. Tendril reduction in the cerebral cavities begins. Enables increased control over host brain. Oh, it's so gross. Still hasn't gone anywhere else as of yet. Oh, more bubbles. Good, good. Oh, we got a lot of DNA to sort of hand out here. Uh, let's evolve some eggs. Ooh, many things. All right, we can start going in the uh, regular transmission here. Good, awesome. Rodents, insects, birds, typical things. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, and it doesn't say, but birds obviously increase land transmission. Rats are good for urban environments, and insects are good for hot climates. Uh, China's a balanced climate, I believe, and it is urban, so it might be good to go for rodents. Although it is cheaper to go for insects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go for rodents. Oh, thousands, wow, all right. Oh. It's on a plane. It's gone to the UK and Korea. All right, uh, we got we still got a little, <laughs> a little glowing trend drawn into the brain there. Get another symptom. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Ah, we're br be able to branch out now. Let's take a look at some of our choice. Adri Adri Adrenergic Adrenergic construction whatever. Uh, that was embarrassing. Uh, beta blocker beta receptor blockers release, dampening anxiety in the host, and lessening severity of allergic reactions to the worm. It's confusion, which I just uh, you know, showed while trying to read that last uh, entry. 
Dopamine production is stimulated to cause bouts of confusion in host. Harder to concentrate on complex work. It's in my brain. <laughs> frontal mesh. Tendrils mesh with the frontal lobe, the conscious thought center, and gain ability to mentally manipulate host. Cool. Uh, let's... Go for insects now. Oh yeah, genetic swap. Increased chance of mutation. Um, and I feel like I should... Let's actually, since I'm in the UK now, let's do the drug resistance. And uh, cold. All right, across the world we are approaching. Oh, we have just passed 500,000 infected with this brain worm. It's starting to spread to more countries now. I think it just got to India. Yep. Two million. Ooh, wow. Ooh, doubled. This thing is spreading. More infectious than TB. All right. I'm so happy about what is a horrible thing. Trojan plane bubbles can be used to control the spread of your disease. Dragged bubble to a country to get people to travel there. Interesting. This is a completely new mechanic. Let's go to... Might be good to get to Madagascar, because it's kind of hard to get there. Provided they don't shut down everything. As they tend to do. Greenland, Iceland, Canada, USA... On the other hand, it would be good to get over to this continent because nothing is over there yet. Um, all right, yeah, let's go to Central America so we can get to the uh, uh, Panama Canal because that's a good spreading point. Did it go? Did it not work? Hmm. Maybe it has to be to another place with an airport. Let's try Mexico then. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's got to be to a place with an airport. I guess that makes sense. You kind of need a place to land. New... Ah, I've already been detected. Damn it. Kind of hoping I would be able to go a little bit longer. On the other hand, we do have a lot of disease points to spread around, so let's start doing that. Uh, let's go for eggs too. Eggs hatch when they experience an increase in warmth, likely to nearby human activity. Let's... Uh, we want to go for birds. Or, yeah, I think we're going to go for birds here. We're going to hit all the major sort of transmission vectors. We're going to get frontal mesh now. Really dig it into the brain. We have immaturity, hormone production altered, which causes reduction in maturity, lower levels of hygiene, increase infection, perceptive jolt, tensions increase brain pressure, resulting in fever, which disrupts host priorities and decision making. Confusion, the one I can't pronounce. Uh, what is that one? No, what's all about that one anyway? Oh, good. Uh, uh, Anxiolytic infusion. I think that's it. Mass synthesis of neurotransmitter gamma amnobutric acid significantly reduces anxiety in the host and minimizes severity of reactions. Uh, so I guess it's sort of... Oh, it's uh, breaking down severity. That's would have been helpful to sort of push into earlier, I guess. Well, let's go with the immaturity. What's next? Mania. Manic episodes lead to increased contact with others and inability to focus. And confusion. After that comes memory loss. Very hard to cure. Good, good. Neuritic plaques deposited on gray matter significantly impact memory and learning. Uh, take a look at abilities. And let's get some heat resistance in here now. All right. 
It's a slightly different color, I notice. It's not red, it's sort of orange. And they're all, China's completely infected. And they've already started working on it. Well, you know, everybody's got this thing in their brain. Maybe we should kind of address it now. All right, we are one, almost 1 1.5 billion people infected. China shuts down airports. Shut down everything. Oh, good. Uh, I can spread it again. Let's go to uh, Iceland. Iceland's got an airport. Yeah. Can't see my fingers in the way. Come on. Damn it. There we go. Oh, we just got to Japan. Good. And we're in the uh, in Central America. So, no, it won't be long before we're in the United States and crossing over into Europe. So, it's looking good. Get in Australia. All right. Ah, oh, man, that looks so horrible. All right, let's go to undulatory, undulatory locomotion. And we have air one. Worm can dehydrate to become lighter, allowing them to float on wind. Or worm skin becomes highly vascularized, allowing absorption of oxygen, survival, and transmission in water. I always like to go for water over air. I don't know why. Uh, let's go for mania. After that is aggression. Hypothalamic tap causes irrational hatred and violence, especially towards authorities and uninfected. And obsession, severe damage to orbital cortex triggers OCD, forcing, forcing hosts to obsess over a specific worm-related task. Like, uh, my worm wants cheeseburgers for some reason. I don't know. Worm-related task. What does that mean? Oh, we're in the United States. Scientists tell public not to worry about cerebrica. Although unpleasant, it does not appear to cause any symptoms in humans and will be easily cured. No symptoms? Are they looking at a different thing than I am? Or they're full of it. Because it causes mania, immaturity, and confusion. Oh yeah, I uh, actually it causes side effects, but I was just confused about what we were talking about. Sorry. Uh, China distributes insect repellent. Disturbing reports of Cerebrica. Science has proved that Cerebrica could theoretically manipulate human thoughts to its advantage. More research is needed. All right. Uh, have we gone to Canada? We have not gone to Canada. We have not gone to Brazil. We have not gone to South Africa. We have not gone to Egypt. Let's go to South Africa. Wait, have we been to New Zealand? Hmm, South Africa or New Zealand? South Africa. Sorry about that. When you're destroying the world, you have to make China bans hats and headwear. What? <laughs> headwear banned. I guess so they can see the worm bulging through the top of your head. All right, new rural livestock legislation. New rules for transport hygiene to farm animals makes rural areas less vulnerable to disease. Darn it. Okay. That's going to make things tricky. Oop. Got into the Caribbean. Looks like we also got into the Middle East. All right, we got some more DNA, so let's start spreading it around. Uh, let's evolve memory loss. What's next? Aneurysm. Oop, yep, that'll kill you. Tendrils feed off blood vessels in the brain, which cause aneurysms, can be lethal and hard to accurately diagnose. Uh, what's under abilities? Stuff I can't afford. All right, let's go for genetic hardening, because they're starting on the cure research. That's going to take a long time. Though not as more people start, you know, chipping in. All right, we're in South America, we're in the Baltic, it looks like, or, you know, uh, Scandawegia. Scan 
I apologize to anybody from that area who might be watching. More infectious than the common cold, all right. All right, we can spread more. We're in Australia, we're in South Africa. We are not in Egypt. So let's go to, hmm. Yeah, let's go to Egypt. Oh, hang on, let me get that bubble. Oh, and that bubble. And let's work on some more sort of transmission-y things, or, uh, hmm. Let's actually amp up drug resistance. Let's throw in another symptom. Hmm. Alright, psychosis. Tendrils tweak dopamine receptors, inducing occasional states of psychosis and personality shifts to better accommodate worm. Crazy. No idea what I'm doing. It doesn't work the same way as out of the diseases. Oops, tsunami hits Brazil. Poor Brazil. Already have people dead. Not from me. More DNA to spend, whoa. That brain is looking gnarly and that worm is looking big. All right, let's go for, should I start amping up lethality at this point? How much of the world is infected? Almost half, it looks like. Uh, I kind of want to get more. Mm, let's go for heat resistance and cold resistance. What was this? Environmental hardening. Uh, okay. That's, I could use up all my points, but no, let's just stick with how it is right now. Five percent of a cure already. Mm -hmm. It has not gotten to Madagascar yet. Damn it. Gotta go for water. Worms develop a more flexible cell membrane, which allows them to survive a range of depths. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Water three. Worm eggs gain ability to thrive in unsanitized water, greatly increasing infectivity, especially in poor countries. Uh, yeah, let's stick with that for right now. Ship's news. Ah, oh, dang it. Right as I got the water <laughs> transmission. Well, it seems to work out okay. Have I gotten everywhere with an airport yet? Oh, sweet, you can go to places without airports. I guess I just wasn't detecting, or wasn't detecting properly. Oh, upgrade life ships be infected again. Yes, the water transmission upgrade like Cerebrica survived the new cleaning techniques on ships and spread between countries again. Yeah, it's orange, it's not red like the, like the normal game. I wonder how it's gonna look in the, uh, the zombie one. How many countries do I have left to infect? Morocco, Greenland, and Bolivia. Oh, we just got Morocco. Let's spread some more. Upgrade some more, I should say. Now let's get some psychosis in there. What do we got? Adoration. Surges of testosterone and estrogen hijack host emotions and create desire to spread infection. You will love the worm! Despair. Altered serotonin levels impact mood regulation, induce feelings of despair in the host, and lessen self preservation instinct. Uh, I like how that sort of. It's a nice boost to infectivity. A little bit of boost to ser severity, though. Hmm. Let's go for perceptive jolt. Occipital mesh, host less likely to notice worm infections. That would have been useful, you know, earlier on. 
receptive shift. Worm grows to significantly increase intracranial pressure, severely disrupting host risk reward analysis, resulting in risky, unsafe, and impulsive decisions. Hmm. I'm really going to need to start uh, cranking up the uh, lethality here soon. Especially since I, over half the world is infected now. It's still uh, Greenland and Bolivia left. Just Greenland. I might... Uh, oh, that's genetic swap. I want Trojan Plains. There we go. That's every country in the world now. Yeah, you... Perfect timing for that. Perfect timing. Well, I guess we can get some more infected. Wow. Yeah, that does boost it like crazy. Alright, symptoms... I probably should start addressing lethality now. Let's go for aggression. Next we have insanity. Neuropathic manipulation causes severe emotional and behavior abnormalities, increasing infectivity, can be fatal, and acute encephalitis. That'll crank up the death count. Multiple inflammatory lesions in the brain triggered, causing neurological damage resulting in death. Um, so let's... Hmm. You know, let's go for aneurysm. What's after that? Aphasia. Makes developing occur significantly harder. I do like that. But I think we're going to start seeing deaths now. Uh, yeah, looks like they're going to start curing. Oh, first death in Egypt. But I think it's going to climb. Alright, 25% complete and climbing. I thought to slow that down a little bit. India begins to break down. Normal life in India is beginning to break down due to cerebra. Cure research is starting to slow. Good, good. I like to hear the sound of that. Infect faster, Argentina. Global research focused on cure. As I expected it would, you know, just about everybody in the world, almost, is, you know, has worms in their head. Australia legalizes public brawling. <laughs> Denies mind control plague. That's funny. I like that. Uh, what else can we do? Yeah, let's evolve aphasia. What do we got after that? Coma and apraxia. Bruised tissue causes inability to execute certain movements, reduces infectiousness, but is extremely hard to cure. Hmm. I see. Interesting. New Zealand leading global cure effort. Good for you, New Zealand. Killed more than the Black Death. All right. Yes, I know. Pop the cure levels. Hmm. It's not killing fast enough. I should have made it more lethal. Korea legalizes gladiator combat. Death fights, refuse to isolate infected. <laughs> All right, we're gonna send you to New Zealand. Actually, that's completely useless. I think everybody is infected by now. Oh, wait, Argentina.
London Olympics mystery. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the London Olympics. Uh, I don't think it's a mystery. I think it has something to do with the crazy brain worm. Yes, there are no healthy people left in the world. Cure is coming along nicely, though. That That is disappointing. Killed more than Spanish flu. Ah, come on. More deaths. I need more deaths. I need more countries to, to fall into chaos here. Germany arrests journalists for alarming public. Where else is sort of... Un oh yeah, everybody's. Hmm. What's curfews? Some places are still not closing down their airports. Cerebra is controlling you. Confirmed. Cerebra has the ability to control humans. Cerebra urge governments to investigate further. There is nothing wrong with Cerebra. It is not controlling your mind, puny human. Damn it, 75%. Give me more DNA points. Uh, death racing in Canada. Awesome. Twenty. What do I need to get something really lethal? I don't really care about infectiousness right now. It is extremely hard to cure, though, which would definitely help. Mm, on the other hand, I mean, acute and is forty points. Ah, what the hell? We're gonna go with it. This may be a stupid decision, but. I don't think I'm going to win this one. I think they're going to beat me on the cure. Despite the death races. One DNA point. That's really helping me, thanks. the entire world, but I didn't make it lethal enough. The New Zealanders, they were too canny for me. Just, ah, they beat my worm. Killed more than smallpox, though. Yeah, it's gonna deploy, and I'm gonna lose. Ah, <sighs> good job, humanity. You did it. You beat Cerebrica. I gave it a good shot for someone going in blind, but the persistence and creativity of man was too much for me. Ah, <sighs> curse you, curse you and your science. Yep, already starting to see people being cured. Ah, darn. Nothing left now but to sweep up the bodies and wait for the next disease. But trust me, I will return, world. It's, coming, it's not becoming scary, it's beaten. You won. But next time... I don't think Yuma will be as lucky.
The world has survived a devastating plague and will soon erase Cerebrica forever. Large numbers of people have died and the world has changed forever. Good for you, world. Good for you. I'm not bitter. Okay, I'm a little bitter. Ah. Yeah, I did not make it lethal enough. Became too severe, non-lethal enough. Darn. Yeah, I want to share the news that I failed. That sounds like fun. But anyway, that's the Nurax Worm. I probably will be revisiting this at some point because I want to try and win. But, uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes next time. You've been warned, planet Earth. I've been poor cynic. Ta-ta and farewell.